how are things uh, shaping up, mate, ahead of the uh, semi-final? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Um, we've had a pretty light start to the week, so uh, I think it's helping everyone recover. I definitely feel better for it, and I think everyone else is the same. Did you watch the game last night at all, the Central Coast? Uh, no, I was um, watching a oh, well, replay of the Rugby League of the Warriors. <laughs> how, how, are you, how are you guys? I mean, that was you know, 120 minutes and that was some real hard yakka. The boys really starting to struggle at the end of that game. How are you feeling a few days on? Uh, yeah, like I said, because um, we've lightened the load down a bit, uh, it, um, we feel a lot better. So after the game was pretty tough, the last two days have still been pulling up pretty sore, but today I feel, feel a lot better. I'm sure most of the other boys are the same. Um, we've got massages in that now as well as recovery, so we'll, we'll be all right. Most people had victory as overwhelming favourites last Friday night. Do you think that um, you underperformed or do you think you got away with something there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Finals is a totally different concept. Um, I don't think there's any team that you can really say are heavy favourites to win the games because everyone gives everything that they've got and Perth played a, a really, really good game and it gave us a really tough game, but um, I don't think we were lucky at all. Uh, I mean, like we did get the decision in the, at the end of the game, but um, we had to work hard throughout the whole game to to create chances and, and to get into the box to get those sort of decisions. So, um, And then we scored the second goal through something that we've practiced all year, so I don't think there's any luck. Is it about self-belief, Marco, that the game is not over until it's over? Yeah, definitely. Um, we've always been big believers of that. We've come back in a lot of games towards the end of the games and um, we want to win every game so even when we're losing um, our belief is still that we'll come back and win and we always believe that we'll score more goals in the opposition so I think um, that helped a lot in the game against Perth because we've, we had that core belief that we had throughout the season that we would be able to overturn it. How much has the coach had to do with that because last, last year you couldn't get into a game, now you're never out of a game. Uh, yeah a lot. Definitely a lot uh, comes from him and he's always he's always made his teams like that and um, we're no different. Um, it's it's a huge, huge thing to have because it just, it allows you to never, um, never sort of think that you're going to lose. And when you're, when you're always thinking like that in the game, you're always thinking like you're going to win, then it's, all, it's always good because you play positive football all the time and um, I think he's, he's definitely a big part of that. You haven't beaten the Mariners uh, this year. Uh, how do you turn that around, Marco? And has that been spoken about during the week? Uh, I score more goals than they do. Um, it's uh, like I said, it's different, different kind of thing. It's a finals game. Um, it was a different scenario when we went there last time, and in the other games we'd played against them. And it's going to be a different game this week, and we're going to give it everything we got, and hopefully, hopefully that's enough to to get the win. You think it'll be a lot tougher without having you sort of home support giving you uh, yeah definitely definitely um it's always good to play at home it always helps You're like a 12th man at times so um it's going to be a lot tougher but in the end it's just 11 v 11 playing a game of football on the same pitch with the same kind of rules and regulations so it's it's going to be a, a tough game they're a very good team no doubt but um we're going into win and i think I'm confident that we can do it. Will you be ducking uh, Archie Tops and celebrations this week, mate? Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'll have to. I think I have to wait about five. Make sure that I stand still for about five minutes while he does all the celebrations. <laughs> Marco, they, it, it's said usually that goals win individual games, but defences win championships. Now your defence has been extremely leaky on a number of occasions. No one doubts that you and your forwards can score goals. Do you feel that you've actually got? tight enough defence to go all the way? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely think we can we can win the win the whole thing. Um, we've been focusing on a lot on a lot to defend from the front, the midfield and the and the defence and like you said we've leaked quite a lot of goals but um, hopefully I'm hoping that I'm sure that we'll turn up, we'll give it everything we got and we'll defend from the front because I think that's what we need to work a lot on is not letting them get out so easy and um, We'll be working on that, and I think the defenders will be will be more than alright, and obviously we'll score enough goals. Where do you see the Mariners, you know, main thrust coming from? Um, I mean, where where do you regard their strengths as being? 
Uh, I think they're pretty good on the the counter attack. They're pretty. Um, they defend really well, and when the opposition makes some mistakes, they're quick. Makes a mistake, they're quick to pounce on it, and they're very good at the um, transition sort of the game. So um, I think we just got to try and minimise the mistakes that we make and um, make sure that we're thinking a lot off the ball and getting into the right position so that they can't hurt us. Your international teammate, Michael McGlinch, he's had a terrific season really, hasn't he? I mean, is he the person you really feel you've got to stop? Uh, oh, I mean, it's not just him. He's, he's had a great season. He's a really good player. And um, But if you just try and focus on one player, someone else will hurt you. McBreen, Abini, the all the midfielders and attackers that can can hurt you, even their fullbacks as well when they go forward. So if we're just going to focus on McGlinchey, then we'll be in for a lot of trouble. So um, we've got to focus on them as a whole in the way that they play and um, just use the same game plan that we've used all year to try and combat that.